What's up? This your boy G for show, and welcome to my flow series. And what we're gonna talk about today is timing. So timing is one of the key elements of catching your flow when it comes to rap. So uh, there's a couple ways that you can manipulate or use timing to your advantage. So knowing your BPMs. With knowing your BPMs, you can be on time when you're rhyming. Okay, so also with knowing your BPMs, you can come up with a syllable count for every line. You know, uh, so say like your the the quicker your BPMs are or the faster, you know, usually the less syllables you're gonna have in your lines. And the slower your BPM count is, the more syllables you can have in each line. And uh, I think just knowing that can help you make different type of music too. So another element of timing is, uh, is knowing how to count your bars. So the way that I was taught is when you hear a song on the radio or something, you can find the, the count by using a clap and a snap. So clap, snap, clap, snap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And Basically, by knowing that, that'll help you stay on track with the beat. And it, when you're analyzing music, you know what lines are a bar and what lines is like in the middle of the bar or even when the rapper is starting. So that's an important part of just flow in general. Where is the person starting on the, is he starting on a one or a two or a three? And some people, like I said in the in uh, past videos, you can start on the four. It depends on how your flow is. Also, another key element of timing is knowing when to rest. So usually. People rest whenever they want the audience or the listener to actually absorb what they just said or to understand or just take in what they just said. Um, this is very important and this creates like the woe effect or it can create, you know, the crowd getting, you know, into the music too. And it makes your punchlines hit even harder. And so rest, like I said, usually come after, you know, a big line or if you got a punch line or you have metaphors or similes or whatever you're doing in your music. Also with timing, it's very important to, you know, uh, just whenever it comes to writing like so timing not just not just the way that you flow but timing you know uh like how you stressing your your syllables or your words too so knowing um when to stress certain things or how to uh, stretch certain words or how long to stretch certain words because this is um, a key element that you know Eminem used, that Jay-Z used. Most of your big rappers use uh, word stretching to manipulate their rhymes. You know, you can make different, you can make words that don't rhyme, rhyme whenever you stretch 
syllables. And that's a big tip right there. So learning how to stretch or enunciate words the proper way under time. So that's basically how you use time to your advantage. If you're liking what I'm giving you on these videos, press subscribe, cut on those notifications, and I'm out, bro.